Alright. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from KHUX Nation, and for today's episode, we're going over a fairly recent uh Valentine's Day event that's currently ongoing. As of right now, all of the stories are currently unlocked, which I'll explain in a second. Uh, but it does end in a few days, and I wanted to make this video at least before it finished, okay? uh now just to quickly go over what exactly the event is because the event is slightly different compared to how most events are ran uh so real quick we'll just go over it real, uh how how it is functioned so unlike normal events okay there's not actual missions that you there's not like a special event mission that you do for the event okay um in order to obtain rewards and stuff the way that this event is uh, ran is the fact that just by doing normal quests within the game you will obtain roses uh, from do doing those quests typically from what I've seen the higher amount of stamina that the quest consumes the more roses you obtain from that uh, from that quest as well okay so and as you can see right here like kind of in the middle that shows me how much I currently have at the moment uh, then you can use those roses to actually redeem them for rewards, okay? I've already redeemed a bunch of the more higher-end rewards. There's only a handful of high-end rewards that I still need to consume, um, such as the ing ingot, for example. All right, I like I like to try chasing for the higher-end stuff first just because those are a little higher, uh, harder to obtain compared to some of the other things. Uh, but the, the way this works as well for the actual event, aside from redeeming rewards, you use the ro uh, the roses. When you go to click view stories, there are different stories correlating to each of the characters within the Valentine's event. Okay, uh, that you can basically redeem roses to view their their storyline. Okay, so uh, I've already done all of them, so it doesn't show it here on them. But like for example. Episode one, the Maiden's Valentine's, that initially cost 30 roses in order to view that storyline. Uh, clad in aprons cost 150 to view it, and a perfect present cost like 300 to view it, okay? Every time you watch the final episode or episode three of each character, uh, you unlock a fully unlocked, fully maxed out leveled uh, worm print for free for watching that, uh, that episode okay or completing that character's storyline essentially okay um now out of all the storylines now most of the worm prints obtained through all these storylines are not the greatest um but they're fairly decent especially since they already come fully unbound and fully maxed out leveled out at level 100 it's some easy easy worm prints you can obtain um especially if you're a newer player and it's hard for you to actually level up your worm prints these are some easy worm prints to help you get some like quick uh quick boosts in your in your party's uh like might levels and stuff okay or, or strength in general and such okay however there are uh two key notable worm prints i do want to point out that i recommend you you guarantee you obtain first before all the others uh, especially if you're a casual player and you're probably not going to complete all of the storylines, okay? At the very least, get these two worm prints just because of the fact that they are, as far as I'm aware, limited to the Valentine's Day event. You cannot get them outside of them and they can be very useful outside of the event, okay? So, first one being that I'm pretty sure it's from Elisane and Cleo's uh, normal storyline when you complete this one you get this worm print you get this worm print right here okay you get the a heartfelt gift uh like i showed you like i mentioned before it comes fully maxed out at level uh and fully unbound as well um, but the ability it has is a loving heart max at 10 percent increases player exp intake for clearing quest by 10 percent it, the ability does not stack and the highest value is at 10%. So basically it, it comes maxed out, okay? Um, there's only two, I believe there's only two worm prints in the game that do this at the moment, okay? And especially if you're a newer player, this can be very helpful. Um, and if you just, like, even right now, I'm like level 94, I believe. And it's getting, it's getting really hard for me to level up these days. 
So even right now, I just throw this on my healer because my healer doesn't need nearly as many like worm print stat. Yeah, worm print like uh, abilities compared to my other units. Uh, so I just throw this on my healer just to get at least a little bit extra EXP to help me uh, level up just slightly faster because of how slow I already level up. Um, so this is this is pretty useful and it's unique. Okay, it's you don't see this anywhere else in the game. Um, so you definitely want to get this at the very least. On top of the fact that it by completing whoops by completing the Prometheus uh, story uh, yeah storyline Prometheus this one by completing episode three, I highly recommend you do this one especially because of the fact that you get this worm print when you complete it. This is also limited worm print. Uh, again, fully maxed out, fully leveled out, all that good stuff. Uh, and it comes with a skill haste of plus 10% for flame units, okay, if you're attuned to flame. If you know me, skill haste is by far one of the best mechanics, ability mechanics, in the game. Okay, there's only a handful of mechanics in the game that are the absolute best. Skill haste is one of them, okay. Um... Any increase to attack rate for the team is uh, also one of them. Bleed is one of them. Okay, these are if I as far off the top of my head, these are the top three mechanics in the game uh, in terms of helping your party, your units, and stuff. Okay, uh, and there are not very there's very little worm prints that actually provide any type of haste abilities at all whatsoever in the game so you want to try and obtain as many of them as possible and one of them which is this one right here uh this is one of the best out of all the worm prints in terms of skill haste sure it's only applicable towards fire units but you do want to obtain it for when you do have a good fire unit, okay? Um, especially like in, in my situation, for example, I have crap tons of fire <laughs> units, all right? And I have nowhere near, I only have like one, I only have one worm print that provides skill haste at all whatsoever. Uh, and I have one other, and then I have two worm prints that are uh, only applicable towards being attuned to light and water. Okay, so I can't use those in normal setups. Uh, so try and snabbing as many skill haste abilities as possible, you, you definitely want to do. Uh, the other ones aren't nearly as useful, but I'll go over them uh, for you guys just to check out in case you're one, you're curious and you don't have them yet. Uh, so I showed you those two already. Uh, the Another one is Valentine's Venture. It provides last offense at plus 50 or 50%, okay? Plus strength by 50% for 15 seconds when HP drops to 30%. Only happens once per quest. Alright, uh, the next one, another one is an indelible date. Provides broken punisher plus 30%. When the enemy enters a break state, does 30% extra damage. Okay. Another one is elegant escort. This one can actually see some play. It's very niche though, and it's... It, Pretty much would only work in a fire uh setup but it has burning pressure plus 30 percent which is actually a fairly huge number um i don't know how big other worm prints would have in terms of burning punisher but i'm willing to bet this is definitely up there as one of the highest and the last one is take my hand this one has recovering potency plus 13 percent this is actually fairly standard um oh well maybe not standard but it's fairly common like you see this type of ability a lot so there's nothing special about this worm print um the only benefit you'll gain from this per worm, print, worm print is basically the fact that it comes already fully maxed out that's pretty much the only benefit from it uh but yeah those are all of the uh the worm prints that we obtained from the valentine's uh event all right again just to reiterate, the main ones I highly recommend you complete first so you at least obtain their reprint are doing Prometheus storyline as well as the first uh, Elisane and Cleo storyline. Uh, remember that there are that they did include some of the uh, 
like uh, swimsuit editions of their storylines as well. Uh, I believe that the worm prick came from the original one. Okay, so do that one instead. So that way, at the very least, you get the uh, you get the heartfelt gift worm print that provides the 10% EXP bonus, as was well the uh, come on the hot honest repose worm print that provides the skill haste for fire you right. But other than that, that's it for today, guys. Let me know what your thoughts and opinions are, are in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. It's the best way I know when I upload more videos such as this one. My name is Brian from Chaos Nation, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace, y'all.